welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie from Debbie's World and it's time for another Slimming World weigh-in. Um, I'm not sure how I'm looking. I feel like I'm coming down with cold um, and me and Charlie have just been out this morning. It's Saturday um, and we've just been out this morning and done the Selby Park run. Um, we didn't jog, we power walked it but it, it rained a bit so I'm looking a bit blotchy and as I say um, I think I've got a bit of a cold coming on so yeah you've got this delightful face for the next few minutes so it was a big Easter weekend um, and as you know, I had a difficult week a couple of weeks ago and my maintenance journey has not been easy, um, although I've been in and around that place uh, my in my target range or just over it for about seven months now. Um, so how did my week go? Uh, as you know, I had um, I went to group and I didn't weigh in, and then we had the big big issues of whether you should weigh in when you go to group and things like that. Um, and then I've talked it out with my consultant, and I've decided that I will continue to attend group every week and be the pay desk lady because that is what is going to keep me personally on track at the moment. Um, so I felt much better um, after sorting all that out in my own head. Um, so I lost two and a half pounds last week, which took me back comfortably into my target range. Um, and I haven't had a perfect week this week. Um, I had some. I used some flexi sims on Sunday to have an Easter egg that I was sent by the lovely people at Claudia Baker's Kitchen and I also had a tub of Brea's ice cream. That was on Sunday. A few of the other days I may have had one or two sins extra uh, but on the whole I would say that I've had a really good week um, concentrating on the speed foods and the filling healthy meals and still enjoying my sins and I've also um, spent more time with my family. We had two really good walks, one on Saturday with Andrew, um, five or six miles I think that was last Saturday and one on Monday with my mum which was about seven or eight miles in the Bradfield area. I did do vlogs on those if you want to check those out. Um, so plenty of blo uh, bloody magic. So I went to group and I stepped on the scales and I lost another three pounds. So I'm absolutely ecstatic with that. Um, so I now weigh 10 stone 11 and a half and that is a total weight loss of 15 stone 10 pounds. So that is half a pound that means I've got half a pound until the very bottom of my target. Um, but I'm not going to sit on my laurels because I still want to. Uh, I want to stay at the bottom or even drop out a little bit before my holiday, which is in a few weeks, uh, towards the end of May. Um, and when I say that, it doesn't mean that I'll be absolutely going mad on holiday. Um, it just means that there's a little bit of room for some fish and chips or a little bit of cake or whatever and I'll, hopefully when I get back I'd still be in target. Now, so that means I've lost five and a half pounds in the last couple of weeks. Personally, I don't feel like I've done um, a lot 
something very, very radical or different to get those two losses. I've just, I've eaten some of the same foods and some different foods. We've, we've having a couple of bank holidays and days off with Andrew and things like that. I have had uh, a couple of different breakfasts where I've had, I've had um, breakfasts that don't include my healthy extra B so that I can have high thigh bars later on. Um, I've had a few different different types of meals. We've been with my mum or like this week we didn't have mince because we were out on the Monday. We had different meals. So I have swapped a few things about but I wouldn't say I've radically changed or done anything. Probably the only thing I would say is I've gone back to basics and I've really concentrated on my speed foods. Um, snacking on free and speed foods rather than turning to the chocolate drawer um, tried to keep an eye on my exercise and just just being consistent with it um, and not hiding not hiding what I'm eating um, so yeah that's what I would say but I would also say that as a target member Sometimes you do just get a loss when you're not expecting it or you maybe don't, I'm not saying I don't deserve a loss, but um, sometimes it's, it's a gain or a loss, it's just fluctuations. So I'm really, really happy to have lost five, uh, five and a half pounds in the last couple of weeks. But I think because I've been so, been quite consistent over the past few weeks, I think I was due a loss, if that makes sense. Um, I made a comment on one of Jane Day's vlogs um, where she had gained uh, £6, I think, and I said, don't just look at one week, look at the past two or three weeks for your results, because I do often feel that I'm at least a week behind with my losses or my with my results. So next week I could see a little gain because um, of the things I ate over Easter or it could just be a fluctuation. But I am going to try my best um, to have a really good week this week, not sit on my laurels, uh, just carry on doing what I'm doing and see what happens. But there are two things that I want to talk to you about. So the one thing that helped me get back on track after um, after the week where I talked about not weighing in at group was listening to a really good podcast. And I'm going to put it on screen and that's why I've started a new clip. Um, I listen and plenty of other people in the Slimming World circles listen to the Slimming World podcast. They're also on Instagram at Slimming World Podcast. It's two Slimming World members. Uh, one is a normal member who's lost four and a half stone called Claire. And the other is Anna and she's a consultant. I'm not quite sure how much she's lost. I think she's lost about four and a half, five stone. Um, and the, it's not sort of formally linked to Slimming World in any way. They're doing it under their own steam. But it's a really good podcast, thought-provoking, um, motivating. And I would really recommend if you're going out to, to do some body magic or you're going upstairs to have some time to yourself or whatever, have a listen, plug your earphones in and have a listen to it, as well as watching us on YouTube, of course. Um, the only thing I would say is they did a target, um, they talked about maintenance and target in their latest vlog um, and they did talk about um, going to group but not weighing in. Um, that was actually one of their suggestions. So obviously that's a bit controversial on this channel. Um, but I did just want to mention that obviously some consultants think or some consultants accept that it sounds like and some consultants don't so it's well worth just checking if you're a target member whether you're welcome to attend group and not weigh in um, every single week 
Obviously, as a Target member, you have to weigh in every so often to retain your membership. Um, but obviously, as I, as I discussed last week, um, the ideal is whenever you attend group, you will weigh in. Um, but at, it sounds like every consultant's approach is different. But aside from that, the Summer World podcast is well worth a listen. And secondly, there's an account on Instagram called at Lou does SW. Just let me just check that and I'll write it on the screen as well. Just bear with me a second. Focus. No. So she is posting up images of sin values. Now, I would always um, urge you to, even when you've looked at her photos, I would always urge you to um, double check on the app. Um, but it might just give you a few ideas. There we go. Lou does SW. And you can see there, she's like got the Kavag yogurts. Um, some like couscous and rice salads, um, etc, etc. Um, it might just give you some ideas. Healthy Extra Bars, she's done packets of couscous, uh, free from products. So she posts up lots of different images with the sin values underneath. Now, as I say, I would still, anybody would still say, please go on and check the app yourself. But if you have a look at these images, they'll give you some ideas for meals and things. Uh, you can go off and check the app. And she's got all the, the supermarkets in her stories. So you can, if you've got a specific supermarket, you can have a look at the specific supermarket. So, and how much has she? It looks like she's lost three stone herself. So yeah, go and check Lou out and check the Slimming World podcast out. Finally today, another couple of products to show you. I am now a affiliate for Skinny Food Company. So if you follow my link, which is in the down bar, um, to and buy some products, I will earn a small percentage of commission. Or you can just go to the website and purchase it yourself. But they have sent me some products and I'm going to do a separate video with a full review. Um, but just as an example, they're, they're zero calorie sauces and syrups. Um, are free in moderation on the plan. And this custard flavour is absolutely delicious. And also... Um, They've brought out a series of jams, so they've got strawberry and apricot jam. And this is, is really, really nice. And it's seven calories for 20 grams, which is half a sin for me. Um, so yeah, look out for the um, proper Skinny Food Company review if you're interested in those. And lastly, flour and white. Uh, this... This was bought by with my own money. It's not an ad. It's not an ad or anything. Uh, Flour and white had a. Let me try and open this. Put a post up on their Instagram to say that they were selling handcrafted imperfection meringue bars. So you might have seen these on my channel or Jane or Helen's channel before. Um, and these ones are the chocolate meringue bars and it's worth following companies like this on Instagram and um, put in and put in a notification put in an alert on their post so that you get a notification because I got a notification through to say that they were selling these bars normally it's 12 bars for 15 pound which is I don't know, £1.50, £1.75 a bar. And I got 10 bars for £5 because they're perfectly imperfect. So they've not got, usually they come in a wrapper and everything. 
and the sell by date or the best before date is 18th of July 2019 but these are meringue bars covered in chocolate and cacao nibs uh, I think they're probably sold out by now but as I say it's well worth uh, following them on Instagram and other companies to so you get alerts when they're doing discounts and codes and things um, and these are five sins and they do two other flavours they do a raspberry and white chocolate and they do a lemon meringue I haven't tried the lemon meringue yet but yeah that was too good an opportunity to miss 10 bars for, for £5 when it's usually 12 for £15 so yeah that was the flower and white bar so get following on them on Instagram because um, you'll then you'll get alerts when uh, when they put a post up so yeah that's my news from today right at the bottom of target um, half a pound above my the bottom of my target range let's see if I could lose another half a pound uh, before my holiday or if I lose a little bit more then that's fine um, I'm not aiming for my 16 stone award or anything like that, although if it came it would be nice, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm wary about lowering or raising my target because I, I, I can see how easy it is to either lose a lot or gain a lot, and I think that's, that's part of my struggles. I don't really seem to lose or gain gradually, you know, half a pound, half a pound, a pound, a pound, half a pound, half a pound, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose, gain, or even maintain. I seem to gain two or three pounds, then lose two or three pounds, which is quite big jumps, really. So yeah, let me know how you're all getting on. I'd love to hear from you. I'm really catching up on everybody's YouTube. I'm enjoying Sarah Smith S Sarah, Sarah SW at the moment catching up on some of her old videos um, and of course all the other lovely YouTubers that I follow so don't forget to drop us a line below drop me a line below to let me know how you're getting on thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time